one contest, two contestants, three years of blood trial and sweat, and now a final verdict. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. As you remember a couple years ago, I was having a situation where I was using my Pelican Case foam core and I was having a terrible situation where I was literally destroying it every six months. I'm a guy that likes to customize how his stuff sits in his Pelican Case. And what I was running into is just through the wear and tear of set life, I was literally destroying my foam core on a six month basis. And it was just driving me crazy because not only, uh, was it making my gear flop everywhere? It looked terrible. If I, if I opened my case in front of a client, I just had this sh shredded looking box. It looked bad. And, uh, and I just didn't feel like it was protecting my equipment. So I went on a quest to find a way to try and extend the life of the foam core. And what I found was Plasti Dip. And this is something you can find in any automotive store, uh, AutoZone, anything like that. And it's about nine bucks a bottle right now. And what I did, I'll have a video link up here. I actually took some foam core and I decided to see if I could first repair broken foam core, which I couldn't, not with this stuff. But I did buy some new foam core and decided to see how it would hold up over the wear and tear. Now, in my original video, I said I was going to wait six months to come back and see how this thing held up. Well, I've been very lucky. I've been working just like crazy the last uh, three years and never got around to it. So now three years later, I decided to follow up on how the Plasti Dip has held up. And I think this is probably a real good indicator of if you were to do this to your gear, how it would hold up. And the verdict is in. This stuff is amazing. It's a miracle life extender for your Pelican Case foam core. I feel like the only way I could kill my Pelican Case foam core at this point is if I came with a sword, cut off its head, and took the quickening. That is how good this stuff is. So one thing I want to do is talk about why I love putting this Plasti Dip on my foam core. And the thing about me is I really want to have my foam core be personalized to what I'm doing on a set, okay? And the reason for that is that when I'm on a set, and if you've ever been on a set, you are literally working 12, 14, 16 hours, you're packing up, it's always dark, you're wearing your headlamps, and I like having a system where everything goes in a very defined space so you don't have to worry about forgetting it, you can just see. And if you look here, I actually have my uh, original foam core that I actually did. This is, this is what I used three years ago to put in my Plasti dip test, and as you can see, it still looks perfect. It looks almost exactly the same way as when I put it in there. And if you actually look at my case, I actually have a lot of different bolts and stuff like that that's constantly rubbing and pushing against this, and it just keeps it safe. So for me, having this custom case means that I can see where my ball heads are missing. I can see how many batteries you're missing. And it's just always there so I know exactly what it is. I also like it because a custom case versus some of the bigger, uh, I know you can get dividers and stuff for your Pelican case, but a custom case allows me to keep everything exactly the way I want. And I just personally feel it's a little more secure. I have no problem flying with this. I can, trust me, I've flown plenty with Pelican cases with this foam core like this. And I always feel secure knowing that it's there and that I have a safety uh, in there. I just don't feel that comfortable with the dividers. I can hear stuff rolling around, whereas this, it's in there, it's secure. So for me, the foam divide, the foam core is something that I find just super, super, super important. So the first thing is uh, this allows me to basically have this personalized, customized thing, and it just looks a lot more professional, in my opinion, than falling apart foam. The other thing that I think is really, really important about this is this foam core from Pelican cost me about $44 on B&H right now to buy. Now, this case of Plasti Dip costing you about $9. Now, if you are doing this, if you are doing this, I recommend buying two cases because you want to give yourself plenty of coverage and you want to layer it up over time. Now, if you do the math on that, I was replacing these every six months, right? And in three years, okay, that would be over $264 in Pelican case foam that I would have spent in that time versus $18 
I've put for Placida. And that's just today. Uh, I firmly believe that seeing how tough this Pelican case foam has survived with the Plasti Dip covering, that my Plasti Dip will actually outlive the gear that I'm arranging this stuff in. I think the, the most realistic thing is that I will probably be buying new gear and redesigning my new foam core based on the new gear I acquire before I ever, ever run through this actual Plasti Dip. So the Plasti Dip, in my opinion, it, I don't want to say it's a lifetime guarantee for your foam core, but it does extend the life of it so much. It's, it's just phenomenal. Um, so the cost, in my opinion, makes it a no brainer. If you're using foam core in a Pelican case, I would strongly recommend uh, considering doing this if you want to do that. Now, that being said, there are a couple of notes that some of my subscribers and viewers said from my last video that I felt I would I should tell you about just so you know you can do this with the best decision the first thing is the smell okay I mean this is a let's be honest it's called Plasti Dip it's a pretty hardcore nasty chemical right so when you spray this on there it, it definitely is a chemical that sprays out on dips and the smell is strong you need to apply this outside in a well ventilated area preferably wearing a mask keep yourself safe guys it's very very important um, and the smell on this thing is pretty powerful right after you put it on. Um, one thing I recommend doing is you spray it and hopefully give yourself about a week where you can put it in a garage or a carport, somewhere that's ventilated, just to kind of let it air out, uh, just to do that. Now, that being said, if you can't do that, I, I found honestly, I could put this in a Pelican case. If I close my Pelican case, uh, it didn't make my office smell bad. It pretty much locked it in there. Pelican cases are good for that. Uh, but the smell was strong and it did linger for me uh, anywhere from like, a, I'd say a, a week and a half to, to two weeks, you'll have a fairly strong smell. Now, the good news is that smell will completely disappear over time. I mean, I can, I can smell that now and it literally smells like nothing. I mean, um, the smell does dissipate, I can promise you that. But be aware when you first bait on there, it is kind of a strong uh, smell. Uh, the other thing to consider if you do do this is that um, depending how thick you layer on your Plasti Dip, it can slightly, I don't know if you can even see that, you see that slight bend, see that slight bend there in the foam core? It does kind of have a slight bend like that and it does sort of shrink everything just a bit. For me, it's not a problem. Everything still fits in there fine. Uh, it's completely secure. But if you are doing stuff and making like super tight compartments and stuff, be aware that it will shrink in just, just a hair. It's not much, but just a hair. So just be aware of that. I did find too that over time, I could kind of expand that Plasti dip a little bit uh, with the thing. But I mean, it, it's really on there. I mean, you can see this is another one that I did uh, for a trip. I actually uh, had a trip in Ireland three years ago. I had to do a specific thing for that. I took this, that, and you can just see it's still, I mean, this thing is fantastic. It still holds up. Um, uh, one thing another one of my users brought up that I feel like you should bring up is he said, this stuff is hazardous, right? And I mean, yeah, Plasti Dip is a bit of a fire hazard. Do not smoke a cigarette while you're putting this stuff on, guys. And I would strongly recommend not using fireworks either as you apply it. Um, that being said, uh, I, I feel like once it's on there and dry, it is pretty stable. I wouldn't recommend lighting a lighter to it. Don't smoke a cigarette or shoot fireworks over it, anything dangerous like that. But I feel like this is kind of common sense stuff that you wouldn't be doing hopefully near your equipment that you feel that you need to put in a Pelican case anyway. Um, and like I said, I've flown with this, uh, been on mountains with it, deserts, beaches, you name it. And it's held up perfectly good. I've never had any sort of danger thing like that uh, whatsoever. And if you do have open flames near your cases, uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't know if, uh, could, I don't know what to say to that. Um, so yeah, so really, um, and then one other thing that some of my uh, users did bring up was some possible alternatives to Plasti Dip if you're not comfortable. Uh, some people said like Barge 3M, uh, some said like a brushed on contact cement. I even had one person suggest a heat gun to try and shrink it down. But, um, and those are all alternatives if you wanna try that. In my opinion, uh, they're probably not going to be as effective as this Plasti Dip. I mean, this stuff is just, Phenomenal. There can be only one. Phenomenal. So my final thoughts on this, 
if you buy a Pelican case and you do use foam core, for me, it's a no brainer. I buy, when I buy foam core, I go out right away and buy this because when they come together, I don't even see the point in having foam core anymore unless I have plastic dip. So for me, it's a 100% no brainer. And as an indie filmmaker, look guys, this is a small thing, right? But it's these little things that when you're on a set and you're working and you're lugging around every day, jumping in and out of cars, these little things make big differences. And, and these are the things that I think are overlooked for some indie filmmakers as they go out there. So it's something that I think is just an important thing to share. Um, and then, you know, just be careful with it. You know, when you're applying it, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. Uh, make sure you keep this thing away from flames, just like anything else. And um, yeah, and just go with that. And really guys, I hope this is helpful for you. Um, I mean, really, there are very thing, few things that I've come across that I can so wholeheartedly recommend because uh, we all use Pelican cases for so many things. And I feel like this is just a great way to take your stuff, make it last a lot longer, and help you get out there and shoot film a little better. Okay, thanks a lot, and I'll see you soon.